Good morning. Today is Tuesday, November the 14th. Right now, uh, the time is 8.52 in the morning. Overnight market was pretty quiet. In fact, there was hardly any movements that uh, that we see it overnight. Uh, that's because largely due to the fact that there was no major economic data released last night. Uh, however, equity market continued to edge higher. You can see the Dow Jones one hour time frame. You can see that the Dow Jones went up to a high of uh, 34,405.84, not far away from this bracket of prices, which I previously highlighted, they may actually see some kind of selling interest re-emerge. That level is 34,571.84 to 34,776.28. So rule watch out for further gains into this bracket of prices before we meet some kind of serious resistance. Now in the futures contract, we can see that the same thing is happening. The high trader overnight is 34,459 and uh, the bracket of prices to be concerned with will be 34,475. To 34,653. I do expect some kind of selling interest to re emerge tonight, regardless of what the number is for the CPI numbers. Okay, and then uh, we have a, the S&P 500 cash market went up to a height of 4,421.76. Uh, this is already in a bracket of prices that is getting very, very close to a selling uh, uh, range. It is 4,478.69 to 4,508 and a half. This, of course, is the cash market. Now, relative to that, we have the futures contract traded in the micro e-mini contract. We can see that the prices is still a bit of a distance away from the ideal price, uh, whereby I think the selling interest may re-emerge. The last night high is 4,437 even. Uh, the area to watch out will be 4,487 and a quarter to 4,514 and a half. So do look out for some kind of uh, movements over there. In the NASDAQ 100, uh, we did not have a marginal high for last night. Uh, the high remains on last Friday at 15,535.2. Uh, in the futures contract, we can see that that high uh, remains unmolested at 15,616 and a quarter. The area to watch out for will be 15,642 even to 15,719 and three quarter. So we are not that far away from the, uh, a, an area of known supply. And over in Asia, we can see that in the Nikkei 225, uh, the market has uh, regained somewhat of a footing. Uh, although yesterday we can see that the price actually dropped from 33,000. So this is uh, at the opening market opens at 33,000 even and then come all the way down to 32,500. So in, in just one session, it lost 500 points. This morning there was a um, before rebounding back. But the rebound so far is within a technically sensitive area. We can see that the market has just gone up to 61.8. It opened higher again, and it's coming back down at 32,700. So overall, uh, the Nikkei does appear to be a little bit weak, okay? In the Hang Seng, uh, the market actually rebounds strongly to 17,652 overnight. And uh, this is the morning prices so far for the Hang Seng futures contract. Going forward, I think there should be some kind of upset potential to re-challenge the 18,000 levels. And then over in the dollar index, you can see that the dollar, uh, this is the dollar cash, uh, the dollar index cash market. You can see that the dollar index does looks like it's vulnerable to the downside because with the high traded 106 even uh, was last traded Friday and the market is off yesterday. So at the bare minimum, there should be a move to test uh, the last Thursday low at uh, 105.38. So do look out for further losses. But by and large, I think there is that momentum uh, in the dollar index that suggests that we may see lower prices. You can see the higher 107.13, 107.11, sorry. 107.11 is still quite a distance away. So we want to see how the market reacts tonight, but I think there is a very good chance the dollar may ease back, uh, in my opinion. Okay, And in the euro dollar, if the dollar looks like it's going to ease back, there's a potential for the euro dollar to edge up a little bit higher. But you can see the recovery from the low here at 106.56 has been very corrective. It looks like it's struggling higher. So as far as the euro dollar is concerned, while the dollar may actually ease off, the upside potential is also quite limited based on this structure that we see over the last uh, what uh, 48 hours of uh, actual trading. So the 107 levels, 107 to 30 levels seems to be a barrier to higher prices. Unless the price take out convincingly above 107.30, uh, the next barrier will be a 107.83 to 108 even. Okay, And over in sterling, Likewise, I think the upside could be also quite limited. The market looks like it's 
uh, it has rebounded strongly relative to the euro dollar, but I think immediately at 122.30 to 123, I think it will hit its first major resistance. Whether or not it, it can punch through remains to be seen. However, there is another layer of supply that is stacked just above the 123, and that is 123.26 to 123.47. So again, these two barriers should be able to cap further rises in the sterling. And uh, in the Aussie dollars, same thing, we see that the market has rebounded off the low at 063.39, uh, and uh, this is based on last Friday's low, and the top side potential for a time being is likely to be contained at 0 0.6410 to 0 0.6430. Dollar yen has a brush uh, with the last year's high. Last year high we have 152 and the market went up to a high of 151.91 last night before it falls back to 151.20. So this was the market testing. The uh, see how far they can take dollar yen. But so far, we can see that every attempt has been pushed back. This is a very sensitive area. If there's going to be any push higher, it got to happen this week because this week we have a slew of very important numbers. Besides tonight's CPI numbers from the states, we also have PPI numbers and then we're going to have retail sales. Any one of these numbers could be enough to push the dollar above the 152 levels and we want to watch that as well. Okay, And in the dollar Canadian, like I say, dollar Canadian appears to be coming off a little bit uh, from last Friday's high. Uh, dollar Canadian, where are you? Dollar Canadian. Oh, <laughs> I can't find my dollar Canadian. Anyway, dollar CAC, it looks like a potential uh, to come off as well. Uh, in the uh, gold market, you can see last night there was a big rush up in gold prices and that uh, the low was trading at 1931.3.69. Uh, so overall, I think that the market, although have rebounded, but the upside potential is likely to be contained between $1,960 to $1,968. So be between these two bracket of prices, I think the market could actually uh, meet some serious resistance because I do believe that there's going to be another leg down uh, following this rebound. So be careful chasing this rebound higher, at least for now. Okay. In the same thing happens in the silver market. You can see silver hit a low of $21.86 and it's currently rebounding and it's currently trading at $22.30 there about. Immediate upside potential is going to be at $22.62 and $22.74. So look out for some kind of resistance above just ahead. And in the oil market, we can see oil market has also rebounded quite a fair bit from the low at $74.88 last seen last uh, Thursday. So the Currently, market is approaching at key levels. Uh, this level is $78.81 to $79.69 in the WTI. Overnight high is $78.58. So top side, I think it's going to be very, very limited. We want to see how price reacts here. And if it can sustain above the $80, I think it will have a chance to retest the uh, $83.56 high. And let me see, the Bitcoin has also pulled back a little bit. So right now there is a danger of pullback. Uh, I have been mentioning about this potential three-way pullback uh, since the start of the week itself. The high trader is just under 38,000. We have dropped 36,000 before rebounding back the 37,000 half. And then the market now is easing back again. There's a good chance market will retest this level at 35,500 to 35,100 levels. So do watch out for further uh, pullback with the potential uh, as deep as 34,100. So do look out for uh, this potential pullback here. Okay, this is all I have for you for today. In the meantime, you stay uh, uh, focused because tonight CPI numbers will be volatile. Thank you very much. I come back to you tomorrow for another update. Bye-bye.